Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. So I have a haul here for you. I have several shops and I just wanna preface really quickly by saying I usually house all of my Happy Mail in this beautiful caddy from Sadie Stickers. This is a great way to store all of your Happy Mail and it's beautiful, it's white. It is like a cream white, I would say. It's got gold hardware and it folds very nicely and easily and it's just sturdy and it stands up straight and all that good stuff. So definitely worth a shot checking her shop to see if it's still there or if any are still available. I'm not sure if she's going to bring back any in the future, but um, I don't see why she wouldn't because they are incredibly popular as well. So um, with that being said, before I start with the list of shops I have here, I do want to say that I did um, a plan with me already with this summer desk kit from um, what's it called? Missing me out. And as you can see, it's already used up, but I did thankfully remember to, um, film the sticker kit prior to doing this plan with me because I really did want to include it in this haul. Um, but I used it right away. And sometimes I have to be super mindful and remember <laughs> like filming certain things if I want to do a haul, but I want to use the kit right away. And, um, I'm so glad I remembered this time because there are times that I don't remember. Um, but with that being said, I have Anne Hart's Planning, The Pretty Pink Co, White Deer Stationery, Paper Trail Plants, Sadie Stickers, this beautiful mystery kit, so I'll probably hide that if you don't want to see it, um, Crafts by Towie, Peach Palm, and then Saucy Stickers Co. So we have a phenomenal lineup here. I'm really, really excited to just dive right in, but the first shop will probably be Miss and Meow because I did film that way earlier, so let's just get right into it. This shop is Miss and Meow, and I wanted to go ahead and film this really quickly because I do want to use this kit to plan for the week of May 23rd because I actually went to the beach this week and I wanted to use a very specific kit. So this is the packaging, absolutely beautiful. A lot of detail. I always save these for sending out new mail and or journaling, something like that. So this is the freebie, let's see. All right, this is the freebie. Very functional, you have her icons, swatches, and then these Beautiful scallop circles, signature to her shop. I do have a referral link for her below if you're interested. And then um, I had to pick up these dots. So Lauren has been talking about these for such a long time and tells me to pick them up. So I finally went ahead and grabbed the um, foil accents. These are the confetti dots. If you guys have followed me for quite some time now, you know I always use these guys. I literally have a stack of like accents in front of me in every single foil color. Um, depending on the week that I'm planning or what spread I'm using. So these are really beautiful. It's on, I think this is transparent matte paper, but um, I love it, so I'm excited. And then, really quickly, so I picked up this stunning kit. It's called Summer Dusk. It's a four-page um, kit. I picked up the journaling add-on as well as two of the floral um, add-ons. And I figured with the journaling add-on plus these two, it would be plenty for me to plan with. Um, I don't think her kit has florals in it, no. Okay, so really quickly, here are the add-ons that I'll zoom you in. Oops, it's a little too much. So these are the floral add-ons. I grabbed two. Sometimes I'll grab three just depending on like, you know, how many florals and bouquets and things like that are on the sheet. Um, I'll typically plan it out depending also on how much floral is on the journaling page. So I'll kind of like do the math and stuff like that. So, so yeah, really, really beautiful. I love this clip art. I know it's very popular in summer kits. This is pretty, and I don't use orange very often, but this is just so stunning and different, and I'm really excited. Um, have you ever just like not been on social media for a week or two, or you miss a new release, and you're like, when was this released? Um, so sometimes like I'll see the new releases, and I'll share them, and then I'll kind of just go to the shop to see what I might have missed. And this was one of those kits where I just didn't see her release it probably the week it was released, but I'm so glad I still went to check out her shop and what she had because... Miss Meow is great about keeping a lot of stuff in her shop. I do really appreciate that. So here we have your torn pages. We have like larger bouquets and then of course the different clip art pieces. I love this like Polaroid. You guys know how much I love Polaroids. And then um, you have scripts and dots and then some like torn washi down here. This is for the journaling um, pages or things. And you can get this on transparent matte paper, but I prefer to just use this, you know, my weekly spreads in addition to all of my other florals and I really adore these swatch sizes. It's like a midi swatch and I love that. So Regina, if you're watching, um, can you make more of those, <laughs> please? <laughs> okay, so 
Here is the kit itself. It's in rose gold foil, which is stunning. I'm actually so glad this is in rose gold because I just finished filming like one, <laughs> two, three, four, five um, gold kits back to back and or full, four, no, sorry, I can't talk. I just filmed five gold spreads back to back and I'm honestly, I'm tired of it. <laughs> I'm so, I'm getting kind of tired of gold already. And gold was my, ve my very, very favorite foil color when I first joined the community. And then pretty quickly rose gold became my favorite. And I will say, um, silver is like an underrated, like it's, it's really beautiful. It's like the underdog, but, um, I just, I'm so glad to have a different foil. And I was going to use another, um, like beach kit from Sadie stickers, but I had been using, um, several, kits back to back from her shop so I figured I would you know try a different shop and this one was just so perfect for kind of like the vibe and scene that we had when we went to the beach um and I just I'm so so in love with this kit it's in rose gold so here we have like a little picnic scene I adore that I love this girl I actually used a um kit where she had something like that it was probably one of my favorite full boxes and still is I love this double box scene here the quote says meet me where the sea touches the sky this is so stunning. I know like this is a lot more glamorous looking than probably what we did, but <laughs> it's fine. Um, I mean, we pretty much did the same thing. We laid out um, and it was a beautiful scene like this. We stayed all day long um, on the beach. And then I love this little outfit because that is kind of like what I wore. I had a bikini under um, some jean shorts and then a shirt and the slips, you know, super cute. And then we have some scallop headers. Here we have some more of those like smaller swatches, your date covers. I appreciate that these are shorter in height than like traditional date covers. These are significantly shorter. I think she just kind of trimmed it down. And then love her icons. I'm so glad she um, scaled them down. I love them so, so much. I'm obsessed with this coffee cup. It is just stunning. Also love the candle and the chair and the TV, like everything about her um, icons is so good. Two full boxes, three sets of headers. Um, I don't typically go with bow headers anymore, but I will say I really do adore her bow style that she uses. Um, and then here we have some more scallop headers. Love this page. She has such a good box page. We have her signature scallop circles and then her swatches. I adore. So I'll just show you like the different sizing. Hold on. So here is a swatch box from her journaling kit. Let me zoom you in. I think you can kind of, you can kind of see like the difference in size, right? It's smaller. Probably not. It might be too late, but. You know, I tried. And here I'm trying to put it back, okay. <laughs> so, love her swatches, and then I'm excited that I got the journaling kit, so now I have five. And then these squares, love these rectangular mini boxes. I probably, um, this is probably my most favorite box in her entire um, like box page. I love these lace mini boxes, they are so good. Sometimes I wish there was like three or four of them so I can use them more throughout the week. Sometimes I'll have to like use one on each um, side of the page or yeah, of the planner. So it's a little bit balanced because I try to spread out all of my boxes so that things are pretty balanced when you look at it all together. Um, labels and then quarter boxes. I'm so in love with her six um, third boxes and they're just simple, you know, squared off with the foil. And then I've been really enjoying her lace dividers. I trim them and have to use them kind of like a header or a trim. And then here's the bottom washi, so stinking beautiful. I love this and this detail. I think Sadie Stickers has like a $2 Tuesday or something where she has that design and trim. It might be in her shop permanently, so definitely check it out. Um, some circles, arrows, and then all of your sidebar goodies. So yeah, that is everything from Miss Meow. This kit is called Summer Dusk. And like I said, I am so, so glad I picked up this journaling um, page. And then I got, of course, some floral deco. But really excited for these accents. They are stunning and just like the perfect size and super dainty. And I love the larger and smaller dots. That's kind of like my favorite variation of dot accents or confetti accents. And then of course, here's the freebie and my referral link is below for her. So this came to me really quickly. I think international shipping has just been expedited recently. <laughs> I've seen it just kind of go back to normal and I'm so thankful for it. Um, I wasn't expecting to get this in the mail so quickly and I'm glad I did because I definitely wing my um, the kits I use for the week, the week of planning. Like I'll look at what happened that week and then sometimes I'll find a kit that pertains to that week. And specifically with this, 
you know, you know, we went to the beach for the first time. Um, it wasn't as hot, but it was definitely, you know, pretty nice out for a spring day. And I know it's not really summer yet, but it's, you know, starting to get summer. So I figured I'd go ahead and just finally use a summer kit for the week that we went to the beach. And I'm so glad that this got to me really, really quickly. Um, even with Hello Petite paper, like shops are just sending stuff a lot faster or it's getting to me faster. Um, I know it wasn't the case when the pandemic hit. So I'm so excited that things are kind of coming back to normal. So Anyways, that is my little spiel about how quickly this got to me. Um, I, again, I do have a referral link for her below, and I believe Regina said when she has new releases, she has it discounted the week of or the weekend of the new release. So um, definitely check out her new releases when they go live because there is a discount for those new kits. But she has amazing things in her shop, and she does keep a lot of things long term. So definitely check her out. This is your warning to. Fast forward and skip this part if you do not want to see the Sadie Stickers May Mystery Kit. Um, Alicia does have a Mystery Kit subscription, so definitely check it out. It is so worth it. She has beautiful Mystery Kits. They are just some of the best. Um, I do have a code with her, by the way. It's Rachel20 for 20% off. And then if you put my name in the notes of seller, you will get my new and revamped updated freebie, which looks like this. It is so cute. Um, I know there are very specific like spring and summer things here, but I feel like they can, you know, you can save them for the next year. My desk is so dirty. But here is my updated gold freebie on transparent matte paper. I love this so much. It is jam-packed. Um, but let's just dive into this new kit. Um, again, this is the May Mystery Kit. So if you do not want to see, don't look. Um, I don't know if she's released it yet by the time I'm filming this or shared it on her YouTube. So I just want to be mindful and say that. So here we go. All right. So this is the main mystery kit. It's got this beautiful add-on, which I love. I really appreciate that. She includes very functional, cute foiled accents and add-ons. So here we have the very simple dainty line, and then we have um, a scallop line, these individual dots <laughs> in front of me. I actually currently have all of my dots from Sadie Stickers. Um, she did a $2 Tuesday with all of these. And as you can see, I use them up um, pretty, in, you know, intensely, like they're kind of warped and everything, but that's because I try to like peel off every single dot. Um, and then we have some beautiful, beautiful leaves here and branches. So this is in rose gold foil. And then here is the kit. It is super cute. Let me zoom out some more. I'll show you from afar and then we'll zoom in. Super pretty. I love this. This is really, really stunning. This would this would have been a really cute like Mother's Day kit too. It's kind of got this like spa um, and like treat yourself kind of vibe. I love it like breakfast in bed. Um, this drink here. Enjoy every moment. The bed here and then you have this really beautiful like aerial view of the, like, you know, food, coffee, um, a robe, some fuzzy slippers. Really cute. And then we have some boxes down here. And then here we have your boxes page, your scallop boxes, half boxes, third boxes, all of your quarter boxes and squares and then midi boxes. And then here we have your um, three sets of headers. So we have the confetti dot headers, some fuzzy foil headers, and then the line headers, some checklists, layering shapes, some more midi boxes, love these. And then we have all of your sidebar goodies. Really pretty, you have the Monday through Sunday. And then of course you also have the bows. This bottom washi is so cute. Again, I love fuzzy foil. <laughs> I say it time and time again, really pretty. And then I really adore this double um, like foiled line and scallop here. It's really pretty. Then here we have your date covers. These are the swatch kiss cut shape or a contour. I don't know what they call it. <laughs> and some more boxes. And then here we have the line dividers and then the scallop headers. I love including those and you know playing around with that. My sidebar is super pretty. And so this page is essentially the box add-on and the journaling page in one. So you have all of your swatch boxes, like torn paper or like tape look. These are some of my favorites. I love putting like a whited out box on top of there. Learned that from Lauren. Some squares, midi boxes, circles, adore those. The torn washi or the torn paper look is a little bit smaller um, in scale, but it's really pretty as well and definitely still usable. The arches are smaller as well compared to the traditional journaling page. And then her clip art pieces are super cute. These are like the most perfect size. And then also some like torn paper, um, like notepad boxes. And then of course we have the floral add-on. So um, she typically will include like the floral add-ons 
in like another weekly release. So if you get the mystery kit and you feel like you need some more florals, then you can certainly pick that up as well. Um, this is essentially two floral pages because if it were cut in half, it'd be like a quarter sheet. So you get a lot on this. And then I did plan recently with her April subscription kit and I was able to get away with just using one. So definitely up to you, but this is the um, May mystery subscription kit from Sadie Stickers. And again, my freebie looks like this if you're interested in putting my name in the notes to seller. Um, we don't have codes for the subscription, but you can certainly use Rachel20 to save 20% off of other items. This shop is Crafts by Towie, and it's actually the next day while I'm filming this haul, so you might hear like a change in variation of my voice throughout this entire haul. Um, but anyways, this is Crafts by Towie. I do have a freebie with her. It looks like this, and my code is Rachel10 for 10% 10 off of $25 or more, and these are some of my favorite things from her shop. Love and adore them. I think she does random foil pulls, so there's that. Um, I am so, so excited um, to share this with you. Let's see. We actually have a wedding we're going to in October, which I feel like this will probably be more of the like vibes of that wedding. Um, so I'm really excited to use this. But before we dive into the wedding kit, um, I want to share some of these icons with you. So these are the sandwich icons. I have seen Lauren and Kiara use these and they are so beautiful. Um, <laughs> I don't know, from afar, it kind of looks like, you know, how you would make like a, like a, boat with like a plank of wood I guess and then you would just have like the makeshift little flag on the top I don't know I just kind of I can't unsee it now I'm so sorry it's like whenever I was a kid I just remembered doing that kind of stuff and yeah whatever <laughs> um but anyways this is a sandwich icon it's a really great size it looks bulky and like large but it's really not I think in comparison to like you know the planner here it's a really really good size and I like that it alternates it's super detailed I love that you can see the cheese and the lettuce and of course like the deli meat um it is so pretty um I didn't really know I would need a sandwich icon until I started eating more sandwiches lately. I've just been super into sandwiches. I don't know what it is, um, but I've never really been like a huge sandwich person, but it's really an easy on the go thing, um, especially when I'm so busy. And I think like you can make a sandwich incredibly healthy, like using whole grain, whole wheat, um, putting tons of veggies and um, chicken and turkey and you know, things like that. So anyways, that's the sandwich one. Sorry, I went on a tangent there. <clears throat> And of course, I had to pick up some more of these for my therapy sessions. I have them weekly. And then, of course, the dog leash. Thank you, Tao, for sending these, sending these over to me. Um, <clears throat> I'm so grateful. I go through my dog leashes, honestly, probably in a week, <laughs> a week or two of a plan with me just because I use them so frequently and I take Chase on a walk often. So, um, this kit is incredibly stunning. It is called To Have and To Hold and <clears throat> really, really beautiful. So here are the floral pieces. If you are in search of a wedding kit, whether it's your wedding or going to a wedding or just celebrating an anniversary or something like that, I think this would be a perfect kit to use. Here you have tons of florals and then the OG oval and then this other um, really pretty shape here as well. So she included <clears throat> three florals. Thank you so much, Tao. Love these. And I love that there are bunchier ones. I like the curves of them. I like the individual pieces. It's just a really great variety. And then this is the clip art page. So we have some of like, <clears throat> excuse me, we have some of the you know elements of the kit in this clip art. Really pretty. And then here's another add-on page which has your foiled shapes and boxes and then um, or sorry, foil boxes, you have the arch, um, and then you have like your traditional quarter boxes. I do love to trim these just because I feel like it's got a pretty thick border and I do end up trimming that excess to make it more of a midi box. And then you have her beautiful um, scallop dividers. And then of course her signature foiled icons, which I really appreciate having some of these on like an add-on. I think that's really awesome. I end up putting them in my reusable sticker book as well. Um, I'm slurring my words. I'm so sorry. I haven't had a full cup of coffee yet. <laughs> but anyway, so here is the kit. It is incredibly beautiful. Here we have all of your full boxes. It says to have and to hold. Really, really elegant and stunning. So pretty. I love the dainty garlands and this is foiled in gold. We have some scallop headers down here. And then here we have her boxes page. This was a revamped um, part of her kit format and I really love this revamp. 
We have her beautiful um, lace circles, love those. And then they're pretty hard to see because they're a lighter color, but we have some squares, some midi boxes. She filled in these spaces with some like torn washi. I always have adored, oh my gosh, she put more of these cord boxes. I'm so excited. I just used a plan with me or <laughs> I just used a plan with me. I just did a plan with me with one of her kits. And I think there were only three. I can't remember, but I'm so excited to have six of these quarter boxes. I am so here for it. I love them. Um, some third boxes. And then, of course, you have some half boxes. I appreciate that there are only three just because I don't really use them um, often. But again, other people might use them more. So um, here we have all of your beautiful headers. Really pretty. I think you get only seven, two, four, six, seven. Sometimes I wish um, she included like an extra header. I know some shops do eight versus seven um, headers of each like design, just because I might want to use one on the sidebar or um, you know just to take up the full span of a of a week. Um, just because there's seven days, but there's also the sidebar to consider. Anyways, that's just a thought. And sometimes I mess up one, and I like having like a backup just in case. I don't know. That's just me. Um, let me know if you mess up your headers a lot, like I do. And I, I don't know how I do it, but sometimes I do. Like if I reposition something or I put like a trim between them and I tear the, you know, the color off and I'm just, it's a, it's a whole thing. But you have a ton more florals here. So um, if you only want like one of these, you certainly get some more on this page too. I am so, so in love with more of these ovals. I truly appreciate that. So if you get the add-on page, you of course have now three of each color. You have this, um, purple light blue and then you have or like periwinkle and then you have this peach color um her other fancy boxes these midi boxes these are a really good size i'm so excited and then all of her icons i'm obsessed she always has had icons that um match the colorway of her kit including some of the floral elements and i think she added an extra row if i'm not mistaken um i think she did yeah this is a revamp and a change too i just used a um a kit from her uh, but I do love the change and the addition of different icons. I've always loved her icons. So just anytime she adds other icons here, it's exciting because I'm able to kind of use them throughout the week. Um, I'll give you an example here. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Here's her other kit that I just used. Oh yeah. See, so there's only, uh, one row of the quarter boxes in comparison to this. So I think that's definitely a change. So now there are two rows, which I love. And then also, yeah, I was correct. Um, there were only two rows of icons and now we get three on this, um, in this kit. And I think this is just a new format altogether. So I'm really excited for that. Um, this is actually a plan with me I'm working on next. I just uploaded, uh, let's see, I just uploaded this guy right here. So this will be my next one, and then I'm gonna, you know, catch up surely uh, pretty quickly here. So I have honestly like two more weeks, and then I'm pretty caught up. So I'm excited to to uh, use her new format. I think it's a really, really good update. Oh no, I just lost that. That's fine. I'll do that later. So I'm just really excited because I think this is such a great change, and I appreciate the extra like deco and um, fancy boxes on this page. And then of course you get your day covers here. Um, okay. Here's the stunning bottom washi. I think this is so incredibly gorgeous and elegant. And then I love that she puts like words in here today. I promise you to love you forever, to cherish you and to be your best friend. I promise to always see the best parts of you, even in the um, hard moments. Sorry, it's kind of hard to read the foil. Um, so really pretty. I love that in contrast with the large florals. It just looks so, so good. Then you have your sidebar goodies here. Really beautiful, elegant. Um, dainty garlands, and then habit trackers, flags of two different sizes. And then of course, her really beautiful calendar. I know a lot of people have been asking for more and more of these, so I'm glad that she added two. And then here is the journaling page, which is super pretty, a new edition as well. Um, you get your torn paper, these stamps, some clip art pieces and florals throughout, and then swatches, this arch, and then you get another one of the ovals. So if you got the journaling page, a floral add-on and then of course in the kit format itself there is um there are ovals so you literally will get an oval of every single color that's so awesome so yeah anyways this kit is called to have and to hold it is incredibly beautiful it's in this stunning gold i've always adored her gold i think she has a really great gold it's not hot yellow gold and it's not super light gold either i think it's a really pretty medium gold um, there are several add-ons, including the journaling page, the floral, um, the just 
clipper and then also this box add-on with the icons page. So that is everything from Crafts by Tawi. Again, I do have a discount code with her. It's Rachel10 for 10% off of $25 or more. And if you would like my freebie, go ahead and put my name in the notes to sell her. So we all know this isn't a proper haul without some white deer stationery icons. And <laughs> I don't think my last haul had any, but um, I think I certainly will have another one in the future too. So here is one of them. This is the packaging. I adore her packaging. I always repurpose and save this paper, um, like, what do you call this? Paper envelope. <laughs> and I love her charm. It's just really, really simple. So there's that. And then here is the packaging. There is always a freebie here. And I try my best, truly. I really, really, really try my best to not tear this, but I think I've only successfully done this one time, and voila, I did tear it in half a little bit, so <sighs> hold your applause. You know, it's okay. It's okay. I tried. So I also like to save this wax paper um, for journaling in addition to that paper envelope. So here is her freebie. I love her freebies. I save them all the time. Um, I have a reusable sticker book here, and you can see like I have put all of her freebies in here. I just think they're so, so good. Um, and it's a great, it's a great place to hold all of your, your stickers. And there are several shops out there that offer reusable sticker books. Um, but this is so adorable. Oh my God. I love the hammer. Yes. Sometimes I'm just in need of a tool. I actually just, I think I might've purchased like a drill in this one. I'm not sure, but I really adore like Crafts by Towie's like hammer set, um, and tool set. I might've gotten some from her too. Love this picnic basket. I think I got a few things on here. Really, really cute. All right, cool. What I find interesting is I think it's only been one other time that she has had like four rows of icons on her um, freebie, but in most cases it is three rows. Um, I do appreciate when she does add an extra row because it maximizes the page and you of course get more on your freebie. So here is <laughs> I keep finding these. So I have a massive stack of white deer stationery icons here. I haven't put in my um, Simply Gilded scallop albums yet. Um, so I'm a little bit behind, you know, it's okay. And I have been finding more and more of these in my collection and I just keep buying them and I'm totally okay because I, I use them all the time. Um, but this is the laptop and coffee. It's a really great way to just mark work, meetings, um, watching YouTube videos, doing, you know, some editing, things like that. Like it's really just a perfect icon and it's probably one of my favorites from our shop. I had to grab the rice bowl. This is so adorable. I think I've been using a lot of the like takeout boxes and um, it's all pretty much white with like a little bit of tan for the chopsticks, but I love this rice bowl and it's gonna be great to just mark maybe any kind of Asian cuisine. And then had to get another Instagram icon just because I don't think I have any from, um, any other shop. Like I might have like a YouTube or social media sampler, but um, a full sheet of just Instagram icons, it's great to just mark, you know, doing Instagram lives or anything Instagram related, doing a reel, which we all know takes a million years. Um, oh yes, I did get the hammer. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I adore this. One thing I will say, I really, really wish White Deer Stationery alternated her icons. Like as you can see here, every single row, the icon is going one direction. I kind of Haha, <laughs> One Direction. Um, sorry, I hope you got that. But sometimes I wish it went the other way so I can use it on either side of the column. And it's not terrible, like I don't think it looks wonky or too terrible, but sometimes it just looks a little bit better with the flow of things. I know Crafts by Tawi alternates her icons and I really do appreciate that. So um, anyways, shop owner of Viter Stationery, if you're listening, I hope that you'd consider that. Wow, I was really on like a whole tool binge here. Um, I grabbed a drill. I don't know why, but this is going to be perfect because I just got a proper treadmill, um, a more heavy duty one for my gym, my at home gym. And I'm excited to um, finally use it. Greg has been putting it together for me. Um, and of course, like I've been trying to help. So <laughs> putting stuff together is just like not my jam. You know what I mean? So yeah, uh, but I'm excited to have these. This is probably like the cutest drill in the entire world. How adorable is that? And it's like the perfect size. And then I don't know what came over me, but I got the vintage perfume. I think this is so adorable. She has another perfume bottle um, in her like collection, but I really just gravitated towards this one. I think it's super adorable, just like her vintage phone. I like having that variety. Um, it kind of looks like a disco ball, like the little, <laughs> but I have been wanting this pretty um, expensive perfume and I don't know how to say the shop name. So I'm just, um, the company name, I'm just not going to say it. Um, 
but I love it because it just, it's a very light scent and it smells like gardenias. And if you know my little story about gardenias, it reminds me a lot of the rosaries in the Philippines, um, which are, you know, comprised of the gardenia flower. And <clears throat> I just love it. It's very nostalgic every time I smell it. And it's a very light perfume or mist per se, but I like that it doesn't have like the super alcohol perfumey after smell to it. Um, it's just very, very light and airy. And it just, it's like you've been kissed by the gardenia flowers. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. Anyways, um, this is the A, um, <clears throat> wow, I am, wow, my throat is really, it's really dry right now. Okay. So this is the wedding bouquet and this is really adorable. I have, um, let me show you the regular flower bouquet that I have. So I house all of my white jersey stationery icons in this really cute um, album from Simply Gilded. And this is like the regular flower bouquet. It's kind of wrapped in like a paper um, wrapping or something, but I do love the variation. This is not just specific to like a wedding, right? Like I love using this to mark like anytime someone is like in a hospital, someone's birthday or um, a celebration or giving someone a gift or just getting flowers myself or giving someone flowers. like. It's a pretty handy and cute icon to have on hand. So I just loved this different um, design and had to get my baby the dog bone because I've just find, I've been wanting to find cuter ways to just mark doing stuff with Jace instead of just either his face, which we all know is super cute. So <laughs> I have like a custom Jace face um, sticker icon and I do love using like the leash from Crafts by Tabby and things, but I, Think this is so adorable whenever I get him new toys or a treat or a bone or like the Amazon guy drops off another treat for him. By the way, I love my Amazon guy. He is the sweetest. Like anytime he drops off a bone um, on top of our boxes and packages, I literally step outside. Jay sits on the porch and we just wave at the Amazon guy and he is the sweetest. He's so cute. It's so adorable. He's just smiling and waving back and I'm just like, oh, bless your heart, sir. You made my day. So um, there's the dog bone and I really wish I liked her leash icons more. I just feel like she has that retractable leash. And if you've heard me before, I say like her, her leash icon kind of looks like a mouse. Um, and I kind of can't get over that. So, <laughs> um, it's also been a little bit larger in comparison to her other icons. So it's kind of hard to, um, I just don't care for it too much, but this is the mini dumbbell again. Oh, this is also on the freebie. What I find interesting is I feel like her freebies are smaller in scale, just by like a tad. Am, am I just seeing things or does that look like it is smaller in scale? It's like, it's super minute, but it's totally smaller. Has to be, or I need to go back to the eye doctor, but my doctor said that my eyes were fine. Um, so that is the mini dumbbell and then that brings us back. So again, I can never have too many like exercise icons, any, not too many, um, laptop coffee situations and I just I adore white jersey stationery as you guys can tell <laughs> I have like literally two albums full of just her stuff and this massive stack so I've been shopping with her forever I think she's probably one of the first shops I've ever shopped from and she has still been like one of the OGs and I really really just appreciate her um and love her shop but the one thing I will say is I just you know I'm praying and hoping and putting it out there that I hope she'll alternate her icons because I would love that. But anyways, go ahead and use my referral link below if you're interested in saving some money. And this is everything from White Air Stationery. This shop is Saucy Stickers Co. And I believe my freebie is in here, my updated freebie, so I'm really excited. Um, I do have a code with her. It is Rachel15. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Rebecca, for watching this. Oh, everybody, hold your breath. Just kidding, start breathing again, please. <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably repurpose this wax paper. I love reusing wax paper for my journaling. Um, I'm so sad that I tore that. It's fine, this is fine, this is fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, okay, okie dokie. Oh, yes, my freebie is so cute. Um, so I wanted a more like summer deco inspired freebie, which is adorable. Like this green is just so totally amazing like it's perfect for summer and like these monsteros but my code is rachel15 for 15 off of your order and then of course here is my updated freebie i hope that you love i love it um thank you rebecca for including extras oh no she included the rest of our teams woohoo okay so we have saskia's super cute she always has butterflies which i totally appreciate i think it's so adorable oh that's a really beautiful little situation there half of the wing is um 
a butterfly wing and a floral wing. By the way, I didn't realize I said situation a lot. So if that bothers you, I'm kind of sorry. And then here is Alyssa's really pretty, lots of purple. And then here's Heather's. This is super cute. Totally more, you know, journaling inspired. So love that. And then here is Katie's. Oh, that was mixed in. Perfect. This is so gorgeous, Katie. I love just the simple black line art on transparent matte paper. This is super pretty. That flower is everything. Stop it. This is so cute. I don't think I want to use this just because it's so pretty. <laughs> um, all right, here is the Shop Freebie. Super adorable. This is also perfect for journaling. Also, her paper is not like a true premium at all. I think it's, um, it's not a, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's also not super thin. It's a thicker standard matte paper. Um, so if you are familiar with, I think it's another shop that uses it is, um, I think recently Jackson Pepper, Bloom Paper Studio might have some stuff. And then also um, the Sweet Planner. So if you're familiar with those shops and have shops with them, I know Jackson Pepper recently changed her paper. So if you got any of her newer kits, you might've seen the paper change, but it's kind of similar and comparable to that. So yeah, this is so pretty. Oh my God, this is stunning. This is Autumn Picnic. Also, by the way, um, I'm a little bit overwhelmed by all the autumn kits already coming out, which I totally understand why shops do this. They have to like, they put out stuff a season, you know, ahead and things like that. But I haven't even started planning like summer plan with me's yet. <laughs> so like summer just came like on the 21st and today is the 23rd. Right. And I'm kind of just like, oh my gosh. And I'm, I'm thinking about some other fall kits I had last year. And I feel like the, re the rest of this year just went by pretty quickly. So um, like January was slow. And then like after February, it was just like, go, go, go. And I'm kind of just like, wow, we're already, I'm seeing fall stuff and I'm already like, it's still so hot. <laughs> I'm just like, no. But anyways, I think it's cool. I know why shops have to do it. Like I'm totally understanding of everything, but I just... You know, it's just kind of one of those things where I have to like wrap my head around it and take a minute because there are times I'm just like, oh, this is a little bit overwhelming. But, you know, I just want to be transparent about that. But anyways, I'm, I don't, I'll stop talking. So this is Autumn Picnic. It is so pretty. This is the floral add-on. It is so gorgeous. I love the variation. I've been really into these like um, rounded florals and I really like this kind of like a half moon um, situation. <laughs> there, I said the word again. Oh my gosh, why am I saying that? Have I, I haven't even been watching like Jersey Shore. What is happening? Um, but I also like it when it like wraps around a little bit like that so I can put it in the corners of circles. It just looks so good. But also watercolor trees are literally so, so beautiful. So here is the full box page. Autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower. Really pretty. This is in gold. I think it's more of a light gold. I wouldn't say it's um, super ivory either. It's like a perfect medium gold. I love it. Super cute. You get some labels down here. And then on this page, you have all of your day covers, your bow checklist, all of your sidebar goodies. Ooh, this is really, really gorgeous. Love her swatches, some flags, layering shapes, these half circles here. I like that shape and that size. It's really good. And then here we have some more of these midi boxes, which I adore. And then of course the square, adore the scallop. That is so cute. You get six quarter boxes. I love the six third boxes. Thank you, Rebecca. And then you also get six half boxes. She crammed a lot on this box page and you get so much, which I totally appreciate. And then um, here's the beautiful bottom washi. So I love this. I love that instead of just having like a traditional... Um, rectangular washi strip she includes these floral trims which I know is starting to become more popular in general so sometimes it's added as like an add-on but I really really appreciate that she includes it as just the bottom washi section so I probably I don't even know how I would set this up you could honestly do it this way probably flip this upside down put it under who knows but regardless I'm sure you're gonna make it look cute so there is that. I don't think she tears or she, not tears. I don't think she cuts this for you. Yeah, no, the floral trim is not cut for you. Unlike the um, traditional washi, it's cut. So here you have all of your headers, a simple line, the beautiful floral pattern. And then I will say she's probably got my favorite confetti um, headers. I just really like the variation of confetti and the dots. Like some are small, some are medium, some are larger. And it's really cute. 
And then you also have this beautiful trim divider here. And then you get two scallop headers. And then here you have your journaling page. Adore these. Um, oh my god, yes. <gasps> Stop it. So there are two journaling pages. Okay, hold on. Let me take a breath. Because here's what's going to happen. This is so, I am so happy right now. Like you get four of these, so you can totally use this in your day cover section and use this at the bottom washi section. I love that there's an option for that. Super appreciated. Um, and even if you want to kind of like take a page from Tay's book, Tay has done this beautiful bottom washi scene in the past and it's so gorgeous. She has used journaling page um, deco and like the torn paper and it just looks phenomenal and so beautiful. And I've seen her like use a journaling page in addition to like some florals. And if you feel like this isn't like your washi preference, um, you can totally make something yourself in the bottom washi section. There are so many options here. And I think that's kind of what's so exciting about the trends lately with the journaling pages, all the florals, all of these extra elements that you can play around with in your, um, in your like sidebar, day cover section, bottom washi, like, there are so many things you can do, but in addition to that, I also know it can be overwhelming. So um, I totally feel that. I feel it. I I feel it personally myself, just like seeing all the creative um, ways to do things. And I'm like, oh, I want to try this, but I'm like, I don't know if I want to do it and mess it up and then like ruin my kit and have to start all over. And then like, I feel like I wasted money. Like all of these thoughts run through my head too. So trust me, I like I totally am there with you if you have those thoughts and think that. Um, and also just like there are so many trends and so many ways to do things. It can just get overwhelming with that in itself. Um, and just know that you're not alone. You know what I mean? Like I see certain things. I'm like, I want to try that, but I'm too afraid to, or I, I don't think I can um, execute it as well as that person. And I'm nervous and so on and so forth. So anyways, regardless, Rebecca, this journaling kit two page thing here you got going on is killer. It is so good. You get some floral trims larger pieces of like um, clip art. Of course, this is intended for the journaling, like for journaling, but you can of course use it in your weekly plan with me is which I love. You get some more of um, these really unique shapes that we've been seeing, arches, your torn paper, Polaroids. This is so pretty. Such a good Polaroid to use in the sidebar, just saying. Love this little basket with the fruits and leaves. Oh my God, this is so adorable. I have been really obsessed with um, like, aerial shots of like a picnic. I just think it's the cutest thing known to man, you know? Um, let's see, like here. I just uploaded this plan with me. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. But this whole picnic scene is just so cute. Like, I just, it's so good, it is so good. Um, but anyways, I've rambled enough about this, but this kit is called Autumn Picnic. If you are in search of a super adorable, like autumn kit, I think this is perfect. Um, also, if you were like going on a trip, like staying in a cabin, like this is perfect for that too. Like if you're not doing like your traditional camping, um, maybe getting an Airbnb and staying in a cabin, like that's super perfect. You know, you're not, you're going to like, um, uh, like just laid back hiking. <laughs> I say that because that's what we're going to do. We're not going to do anything intense in the next coming, um, coming weeks, but um, going on a picnic, like going to a winery, things like that. I just feel like this is kind of a perfect kit to use for that. And I saw this and I was like, yes, because I know there are more cabin trips to come in my future. So um, anyways, also just as a friendly reminder, if you like any of the girls PR freebies, definitely check them out and put their name in the notes of seller. Um, my code is Rachel15 if you want to save some money. And that is everything from Saucy Stickers Co. This shop is Peach Palm and I have a code with her to save 10% off. In order to get 10% off, my code is Rachel June or J-U-N. And then whatever month we're currently in. So definitely know that it changes. And I try to keep it updated in my um, description bar below, but it is a lot to keep up with. So and it's ever changing, right? So just know that my code to save 10% off of Peach Palm is always gonna be my first name and then um, the three letters of the current month that we're in to get 10% off. So I hope that makes sense and I didn't completely butcher that. Um, but you guys, you guys. <laughs> oh, let me just hold my breath, hold on, hold a minute. Um, this kit is so pretty, like, I haven't shopped from Peach Palm in a while, but I will tell you, this is probably one of my favorite summer kits I've seen so far. It is like, it's just so gorgeous. I love the watercolors. Um, I love how vibrant Lena's printing is. And then also on top of that, I just love every single full box. I think she did a really great job at like spreading the wealth with the, you know, the 
the fruits and it just it makes sense right like everything is kind of cohesive but she also has like really great clip art pieces oh no my alarm is going off sorry um and she has really great clip art pieces too and floral add-ons but it's just so good i'm really really excited i truly love this summer kit so if you know me for quite some time and watch me plan i have been really experimenting with using different colors and not being as afraid of using brighter pastel kind of colors typically i'm a neutral color kind of gal right and i still have like that's like my love <laughs> but i do embrace like these kinds of colors for summer and i think she just did a great job without making it look overly bright but then also really encompassing and embracing the true meaning of summer and i i always associate fruits with summer so that's kind of why like i fell in love with this but anyways enough of that tangent um it is a four page kit and then here are the florals i'm not sure if this floral is supposed to go with yes it is okay i just feel like there's more greens than like um the reds and oranges and pinks and stuff but this is one of the floral pieces really pretty i will always trim the excess white borders of some of the like um, florals and just for um, full transparency i feel like she has a thicker white border on some of her florals let's see let me show you I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little bit thicker, but it's not terrible, right? And then here is um, another floral page, and I think I grabbed, yeah, I grabbed three of these. Really pretty. Oh, she wrote me a note. Thank you. Mm -mm. So they're a floral deco, and then she probably included one of them. I'm not sure which one she included, but thank you, Lena. So I did get three of the florals that came with the kit, right, like the add-on. I think these are so pretty. I am so in love with the individual pieces. Oh, this is pretty miscut. Oh no, that's a bummer. <laughs> it's okay, things happen. But I don't know, I just noticed that. I was like, whoa, okay. So I love this like cherry, I don't even know what that is. That's super cute. <laughs> um, watermelon, I just, oh, it's so good. I love, love how PC some of the, bouquets are it just it's super pretty and then there's like the hat and the dress um so i got three of those and then these two and i'm pretty sure i did get this i picked this one up too the floral deco stickers hmm. um i think she might have added this one so thank you lena i appreciate that but i love this because you get like the flat um florals that i like to use in either my day cover section or the bottom of my columns as you guys know and i do appreciate that she maximizes the space by putting these other bouquets in the center here um but now let's just get to the kit so here we go this is in gold foil um her gold is definitely more of a light gold and it's just super pretty fuzzy foil all over i love that i just think of pocahontas when i see a you know a dress like that really pretty sweet summertime oh this is so pretty i'm so in love um and then here we have some updates since i have you know used a kit from her shop so we have these like doily circle um, boxes which are really pretty these mini boxes here with some florals and then they're foiled these other mini boxes you get some rectangles and then more of like a, a mix of a square and a rectangle um, some labels I like her quarter boxes I think these lean more they're like an in-between of a quarter box and a third box and I think this is more of a third box they're just slightly different then you get some half boxes I always struggle with using these kinds of boxes um, the ones that have like a scallop trim at the bottom there are a few shops that do this, but I never really like how I end up using it. I feel like I make it look terrible. <laughs> it's just a, a me thing. It's not the shop at all. Um, but if you have any suggestions or and like how you make this work for you, just because I feel like you can't really put like a whited out box on top of that um, because otherwise you would cover the foiled line and then you have it's a little bit busy with some of the floral on the sides. So um, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. And then here, I love her swatch boxes. Appreciate the sizing. I love them so much. I like the variation. Um, here we get some flags, some headers you can use in your sidebar. Um, these are true um, <laughs> to Peach Bomb. These flags and hexagons and circles, these are totally something she's always had in her shop for a long time. Um, and then you have your torn paper or torn washi here, and then two sets of headers. So two, four, six, eight, nine. So you get nine. Wow, that's a lot, which I appreciate. So you get the... Um, floral with the confetti hearts and dots and then you also get the double line a thin and a, um, a thicker line which i love um and honestly i can get away with just um 
two sets of headers just because if you know and have been watching me so far, um, I usually just use one style on the top um, row and then I'll use headers on above all of my full boxes throughout the week. And then other than that, I don't ever really use like the third set of headers. So um, I'm totally okay with this. And then you get your sidebar here. And then here's the bottom washi. Definitely true to Peach Palm. Really, really pretty with a double line. And then you get some arrows here, which she's had in her shop for a long time. That ombre effect is super cool. And then your day covers, love the paint swatch, and then your habit trackers, and then some bildus. I have not seen these in quite some time, but I do know that um, there, are, there are definitely people out there that use kits functionally. So I totally appreciate that she still offers that as an option um, and for it to be in, in the kit. Um, because I will tell you right now, with almost every single kit I purchased from several different shops, there were just certain things I won't ever use. And that's just because of my planning style. So don't, um, don't ever think like, uh, you have to use everything or that you like, I don't know, just make it work for you. Right. And I think that's kind of why sometimes, um, it's a little bit overwhelming when, when shops see the trends and stuff and they're constantly trying to change and evolve to like what's trending and stuff. But I also know there are people out there that truly, truly use kits functionally, like the bill dues, the habit trackers and stuff like that. So I appreciate that shops do their best to truly encompass, um, a lot of different things in their kits to make everybody happy um, and like the majority of people content with their with their products. So I, you know, I, I can't empathize <laughs> because I'm not a shop owner, but I respect you guys so much. But anyways, I kind of blabbed. I don't know why, but um, my code with her is Rachel J-U-N for the current month we're in, June. But of course, for July, it will be Rachel J-U-L for 10% off of your order. And I'm in love with this kit, Lena. You did a really, really phenomenal job. The colors are just so great. Um, I love the watercolor. I love the fruits. It's just such a perfect summer kit. So definitely check this out. Next, we have Paper Trail Plans. This is a thick package. I don't know if you guys can see, but she is thick, right? Um, I just want to show you the packaging. Really beautiful. It's always this pink envelope with a butterfly. Um, oops, oops, wow, I'm, I'm drawing, I'm, wow, I can't talk. I am throwing things. <laughs> oh, what is life? I'm going to keep this in this haul as much as I want to remove this part. I am going to keep it just because this is the reality, you know, it's fine. Okay. So I appreciate that they don't seal the envelope so you can certainly repurpose it. Instead, they just use one of their stickers. So that's really awesome. Um, see, they keep it. And I know Honey Ink does the same thing. Oh, I don't want to get a paper cut. No, it's like shoved in there. Okay. All right. We're good, people. We're good. We got this. I told you she was thick. Look, she is thick gums. Okay, hold on. I don't know why I'm acting like Edward Scissor's hand here. Like I can't use my fingers all of a sudden. It's fine. Okay. Um, can you tell I'm like rushing before my meeting? <laughs> oh no, this got crumpled. No, that's a bummer. Um, no, I'm really sad. I don't think it'll affect like the use of it, but it got bent. Okay, it's fine. All right. Um, Okie dokie pokey. I don't even know what I got because I got so many things. I, I honestly have no idea. This was a pretty large order. Okay, by the way, I just want to start by saying um, I adore Jess and Susie. They are a mom and daughter shop. This is Paper Trail Plans. They are so adorable, so sweet, so kind, so thoughtful. Like I truly adore them. Um, and they have just been killing it. Like their shop is so good. Definitely recommend checking them out. Um, I do have a code with them. It's Rachel15 for 15% 15 off. So with that being said, you guys know this whole day cover trend is literally taking off like a rocket. Um, I have seen so many different designs up here. Like it's endless and I, I appreciate it. If you think about it, day cover deco used to be, has always been a thing, right? Like way back when I watched play with me videos, um, it was just putting like deco above the day covers, but it has just evolved so much since then. It kind of went away for a little bit. Like nobody was really decorating up there. Um, and then it just came right back. Like tr that's what trends do. They leave, they come back, they evolve, they change, they simplify, etc. Um, but I've seen some people do some amazing things up there with shapes and like these actual day, like days of the week. So I kind of wanted to hop on that wagon and we'll see if I fall off or not, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> so 
Um, I got it in all four foil colors. Um, they do have the option to do like the classic or the traditional colors. So whether it be like gold or sorry, gold, traditional gold, silver, and rose gold, or light gold and silver and rose gold. So it just depends. I just got all four. Um, I am seeing some foil specs, but that's totally fine with me. Um, really, really pretty. So you get three sets, which I appreciate. Um, they maximize the space for sure. Um, and then these are so beautiful. These are the doily dividers. Gorgeous. Lauren and Tay do an amazing job with stuff from their shop. And I'm just trying to be like them when I grow up, you know? By the way, this is the May 2022 freebie. Probably should have started with that, but it was a little bit, um, it was hidden. So these are midi boxes. I, I love them. They're so simple, very thin white border, um, butterflies, and then their freebies are so functional. I have a ton that I just leave on the side while I plan. And I appreciate that they always have like the month to come or something so you can use it in your sidebar. Really pretty. I still have no idea how to use this shape. I'm so intimidated by it. Um, Tay does a great job and I'm just like, do you wanna do my plan with me for me, Tay, please? Um, but there's that freebie. And then also in addition to the the days on transparent, I also wanted to get them on white paper, just depending on the layering. And I was trying to be mindful of like, how do I plan to layer with the day covers and things like that. So I wanted to get two paper types just to be sure. And again, another one of the foiling lines, there's kind of like a, indention there. I'm not sure if you see it, but super minute. It doesn't bother me. I just like to be transparent on my page as much as possible. Um, so she is so thick. <laughs> um, I don't, what did I get? Okay. We'll, we'll get through this guys. I promise. Um, so I grabbed sleep in just because it's durable and I always get my everyday scripts in black just because I want it to match like the rest of my, you know, my week with my handwriting because I only use black pen. Um, team black pen forever, just saying. Um, if you use blue or red pen, no judgment. A little bit of judgment, you know? Yeah, judgment. Okay. And then, um, so I really love this. I don't mind writing it, but sometimes I just like having scripts because it's kind of nice to have like a an option. We all love options, right? Um, grab YouTube binge, again, in black. I just love their font. It's so good. I love the mix of the print and script and it's kind of like how I write as well in my planner. Had to grab some more of the Hello Months just because, <sighs> again, am I a sticker addict? I don't know, but I think we are. Um, if you're watching, I know you love stickers. Like we, we are all here to share the same love. Um, got Happy Birthday. I love her Happy Birthday scripts. I think they're so good. And also down here, it just says birthday. So maybe it I think the thought of that is like, if you want to write the person's name, maybe that'd be kind of cool. Um, but I do love this. So, so pretty. And now we're going to get into the other decorative things. So these garlands are gorgeous. They are garland 1.0, the full length. And here's the difference with her traditional gold and like gold. I think she has a really pretty gold. It's not like super, um, bright yellow, hot gold, if that makes sense. It's very, very nice and subtle. I like it. But it just depends on your preference if you like traditional gold or, you know, your light gold. And then here is the Garland half length. So it's the same one, but it is just a half length, which is really nice. You can put it in corners and layer over it, make your own full length with it, make it droop, whatever it is you want to do. And I was inspired by my besties, Lauren and Tay, to try this out. <laughs> <laughs> Tay uses a lot of these super ornate um, dividers and it just works with her style. Like I try it and I'm kind of just like, what are you doing? Like, it's like me trying to put on like a size 12 shoe. Like it just doesn't fit, right? Like it just, <sighs> but I'm, I'm trying, I really am. And I saw Lauren, she was talking a little bit about like how this is a little bit bold for her style too, but she tried it in a plan with me and it looks so good. And I'm just like, girl, if you can do it, Miss Dainty, I can try. So those are really pretty. Um, and then also grabbed these delicate dot dividers. Listen, the name fits. It is so true. I love these. These are so gorgeous. I have like a large collection of different dot dividers just because I like them. Um, <laughs> and I just, those are so good. And their transparent matte paper is literally chef's kiss. It is so sinking good. And then you guys know, I've been talking about ovals since 
forever. Like if you've been watching my channel, it's really been Tao that's really sparked the whole oval shape for me um, and obsession I have with them and they're just so good. I feel like it's really like a good mix of um, not being too tall and it's more wide and I, I prefer that. It's kind of like a midi shape and I just, I love them. I love them. And this page actually has three different sizes. They're very different and minute, but they are three different sizes. I just think of eggs every time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, these are really pretty. These are the mini oval samplers. And then in addition to that, I had to snag, I, oh wow, Rachel, okay. Um, I grabbed the mini box sampler. These are really good. Lauren gushes about these all the time. Um, so I had to grab two sets of all four foil colors and they're just like the perfect size. They are the perfect um, border amount. Like it's just, this is solving my problems of not having to trim my box borders anymore like thank you ladies I appreciate that so much this is so good um okay next I want to get into these I'm not sure if I picked these up I probably did I have a massive like invoice here hold on uh, uh, uh. <laughs> sorry I'm reading their note they are so cute um but this is the doily washi so if you saw earlier I showed you the doily divider this is the washi version again washi trims can be used in your day covers and or your bottom washi section like you can or throughout your week you do you boo right i've been using them like day covers here at the top of my column the bottom of my columns and my bottom washi so it really just depends on your preference and this is so gorgeous i don't think the um, bending of the paper ruined anything um i don't see any like foil specks coming off or anything like that but again this is the delicate dot washi. You get so much on a page. You guys, can we just take a minute to appreciate this? Look how many you get on a sheet. I mean, come on, come on. There's so much. Um, I would probably use two max or four a week. Just depends. Like, of course, I got to think of each side of the page, but this is so good. You get so much on a sheet. This is insane. Wow, ladies, you killed it with this one. I love that. Um, and I already own these, but... You know, you can never have too much, so that's why I ordered two. <laughs> These are the Garland washies. This is the OG. I grabbed two of each foil color just because I'm a crazy sticker lady, right? It's fine. Um, but because they're so pretty and I, I can never have too much. So um, now I can start using up all the ones I have prior to this so I can have more as a backup. I'm totally like weird about that where I need to have backups before I start using up everything I have because I get I don't know I know Lauren can empathize with me and Tay is probably like just use your stickers you know that's our friendship um <laughs> but I'm totally like that like I don't want to use everything up that I have of a certain style or design because I'm afraid I won't have any more or enough for another plan with me or to finish a plan with me so I like to have backups really pretty by the way this is the lace washi Lauren used this in a plan with me like above her um, or below her day covers and it was a very bold statement but it just worked and it looks so good. Um, super gorgeous. Wow, this is so good. This is such a good like order. I am so happy. Um, and then of course, your girl had to stock up on some more holidays because the thing about holidays, right? It's like, it depends on like the foil color you're using that week or month or whatever. Um, and you might have some, you know, missing spots. And it's frustrating when you don't have a certain holiday in a foil color that you need. So having backups in this situation is so important in my in my opinion. But you know, just my opinion, right? But anyways, <laughs> I love this order. It is so good. It really fulfills my whole need for like the dainty, delicate stuff. But I am super excited for these boxes. Lauren has been trying to get me to get these for such a long time. So um, finally hopped on that. And yeah, that is everything from Paper Trail Plans. Susie and Jess are the sweetest. They are so awesome. I just love everything about their shop. They're just really amazing. Um, definitely check them out. My code with them is Rachel15 to save 15% off. This next shop is the Pretty Pink Co. And I do have a code with her. It's Rachel15 for 15% off. She's got really pretty accents and foiled deco and things like that. It's been quite a while since I've purchased from her shop, um, mostly because for transparency reasons in the past, the shipping took a little bit longer than I liked. So I'm really glad that she has changed to ready to ship. And I'm very excited because I received these two items um, fairly quickly, I think in like two weeks of purchasing the order. So 
She has a shop in Canada, and um, I'm really excited to open these up and see all the goodies. Um, I got some seasonal things and some really beautiful, dainty, anytime items. So these are two separate orders, and here's the packaging. And then on the other side, she hand letters your name. Really pretty. Okay, let me open this up. <clears throat> oh, I completely demolished that. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to open both of them up. And then, so it's the same journaling card for both orders. This is cute. It's really, really great quality paper or like, um, I don't know, cardstock, but it's like soft. I don't know how to describe it. This is cute. If you have like a pocket set up or something like that, you can totally hole punch these and put them in. Um, I have a pocket, so I could probably do that as well. Um, let's go into the seasonal things first. All right, how do I do this? All right, I had a coughing attack there. I just woke up like two hours ago, um, <laughs> but it's still the morning. It's not even eight o'clock yet. And I'm trying to finish up this haul, but um, I forgot what I was saying. But anyways, um, let me know below if you like the sound of like opening cello and happy mail on camera. I know some people like the ASMR and things like that and some might not. So um, let's see, are these? Uh... Oh, this was my old freebie. Okay. <laughs> Um, I had a freebie with her in the past and I think, um, I just never received it in person. So this is what it is. It's got, um, really, really pretty flourishes and banners. I have been obsessed with this heart flourish. Um, I am hoping she will bring this heart flourish to the shop permanently, like on a full sheet again, just because I think it was a $2 Tuesday for Valentine's Day a year or two ago. And I love using them. I think they're incredibly dainty. I like that they're kind of longer and um, they just look really pretty. And yeah, so those are the freebies. I think this is the current one. <clears throat> and this is a shop freebie. Really pretty, very seasonal. So let's get into this first. Um, really quickly, here is, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Here is the shell washi. Let me zoom you up close. Is this upside down? It is. <laughs> This is the shell washi. Of course you can use it either way, but gold, silver, and rose gold. I think her gold is a very true gold. Love this. This is so cute. I love how um, dainty and light it is. Very detailed. All right, so now to these. Um, Lauren really got me into using like palm trees. Um, I think one year last summer or something, I just never picked up any summer deco just because summer is like my least favorite season to plan in. Um, just because like the colors are really out of like my comfort zone, but I'm slowly trying to embrace it a little bit more. Um, and I've been having a lot of fun doing a lot of seasonal decorating, especially with like palm trees, birds, waves, um, things like that. So really excited to try these out. These are the palm tree dividers. And of course you can cut these up individually if you'd like, but you can use this in the day covers, bottom of your columns, etc. And then these are the beach time dividers. I liked how doodly the waves looked. And there's a super tiny beach chair right there if you can see that. So adorable. And then these are super dainty mini starburst. These would be fun to use in the sidebar and in day covers. I like how small these are, like they um, are maybe a little bit um, halfway through the column. <clears throat> and these are the beach scene. Again, here it is for sizing. I like that you get three different styles and then you get the palm trees on either side. This one in the middle is really pretty with the sun. And then of course these individual mini palm trees. Um, so I got the mini and then I got the regular. So I'm excited. These are so teeny tiny. They're so adorable. It just makes me think of like the Lorax. I don't know. <laughs> it's so cute, but that's it for sizing. It's incredibly small. And then here is the regular size palm tree. These are a little bit taller in height too. So here it is for comparison, but I think they're going to be really fun to plan with. Um, to use individually, so I'm excited for that. So those are the summer specific, um, like seasonal things. And then I got some other items that are more anytime items. Again, Lauren really got me into using um, 
or into this order just because of the dainty dividers. I'm so excited for these. Um, here are the freebies. Again, here is mine. And then here is the shop freebie. I'm excited to have some of these cherry blossom seasonal specific things. And honestly, I feel like you can use these kinds of flowers throughout, you know, spring and summer. It's not specific to just spring because they're flowers at the end of the day, right? So um, I'm so impressed by this. I saw a few um, planners use this in their spreads and just it just looks so good. So this is the Dainty String Divider. It's so dainty. It looks like they're individual pieces, but it is a divider, so it's all connected. And of course, if you want to cut it to use it individually, you totally can. Like if you want to only use like a quarter of it, um, you can cut it that way. But these are so, so dainty. Very pretty. And I love the variation of the um, like smaller and larger dots, but they're still super dainty. And then I grabbed the dainty dividers, saw Lauren use these. <laughs> so Lauren, this is your fault, <laughs> um, but really pretty. And then here is the dainty strings, or here are the dainty strings. What is grammar, am I right? Um, okay, and then these are the washi. Um, I will say, I'm not really sure why um, the washi sheets are not consistent in size. That's just like one thing I did notice. Like um, this, for example, there's only two. Like I'm not really sure why she couldn't fit four and make it like a larger sheet. Um, that's just something that I noticed, but either way, it's really pretty. Um, I just say that just because personally, I prefer like all of my sheets to be pretty consistent and through the community, I would notice and say that a lot of washi um, like sheets are pretty consistent, but I've just noticed that these are significantly thinner. I don't know. Um, I don't think this was a $2 Tuesday, so not really sure. I don't have my invoice either, but really dainty, so beautiful probably holding it upside down, but there's that. And then here is the Dainty Washi. So, so excited for these. You can use this throughout the entire week um, and like cut them up if you don't wanna buy the individual uh, dividers or you can just use it for, you know, like it's meant to be for a full page. Really pretty. And again, all of this is on transparent matte paper. Um, so that is everything from the Pretty Pink Co. Again, my code with her is Rachel15 for 15% off. And again, I'm so excited for these seasonal things. They are so, so pretty, but um, that is everything from the shop. And again, here is my current freebie. This is the last shop for this haul. This is Anne Hart's Planning and she is based out of Germany. Here is the packaging, really pretty. And it's just paper folded with her um, sticker. And then all of this was inside. I just took it out <laughs> for the sake of video. Um, but it comes with this freebie. And then also comes with this vellum, Dear Rachel, thank you order note, really cute. And then um, here are some journaling cards. Oh, so they're the same. And then she always includes this like really pretty string and ribbon. So let me take this off. Um, okay, so here are some beautiful kits from her shop. Um, thank you so much, Anne, for sending these over to me. I'm really excited to try them out. I would say her paper is not like a, I don't know if it's, Oh yeah, it's premium matte, okay. I know I've had different kinds of paper from her in the past, so I just didn't know. Um, but this is definitely like a premium matte paper. Um, this is her full kit that is foiled, and then all the deco, thank you so much. So excited for this. Really beautiful, so you have some of the actual clip art, like the girl, and then the popsicle, um, the lemonade or whatever drink that is. I will say like the, the um, size of the popsicle is quite large there. Um, but the white bordering is not bad. It's a little bit thicker than um, what I'm used to, but at the same time, it's not terrible. Okay, so they all kind of vary. Like there are two girls on this one, different hair colors, which are pretty cool. Um, all right, so here we go. Oh, I love this. I love that she um, included the one with the black hair, so I appreciate that. I don't know if you have the option to choose different hair colors, but I'm pretty sure you do because in the um, add-on you have blonde and then like this red hair, so really pretty. This is in gold foil, it's called Brielle. So, so pretty. I I will say this time and time again, Anne is just so talented. Like her eye for design is just so, so pretty. And I feel like her shop and her style is so unique. Um, and I can pretty much tell from afar, like, oh, that's her shop, you know what I mean? But I, I'm pretty sure she's revamped some things. <clears throat> 
This is really gorgeous. And then here is the page with all the confetti foiling. Um, this isn't my favorite page just because there's a lot of confetti, confetti foiling. Um, and this is a lot of stuff like I just don't personally use anymore decoratively, but I know that it's perfect for those that still use this kind of stuff. It's just your preference, but it's still incredibly beautiful. And you can have so much fun layering with these like half circles. Um, and if you still use Hello Weekend scripts, it's there. And then here you have some more labels. Um, I've seen Lauren do really pretty spreads with Anne Hart's planning kits, and she just uses whited out boxes on top of these. Um, and I've built up a large collection of whited out boxes, but I will say like just the saturation and the color, the watercolor, the designs are so pretty that um, you can totally make it work. And then here are some headers. You have three different styles. You have this kind of like confetti splatter look, um, more like larger confetti over the like the pattern with the popsicle and the florals, um, more dainty confetti, and then you get another one here. So there are so many, uh, there are actually four header designs and a fifth one with just the bow, some boxes. And then here's the bottom washi, really pretty. I would probably disregard and not use this bow one, but I do love this bottom washi here and I'll probably pair it with another like washi trim that I have in my collection. You do have all of your um, day covers. Be mindful, it starts, um, at the bottom here, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Really pretty. And then this page has a lot more boxes that are totally up my alley. I really adore the whited out boxes. Uh, the bows in the corners don't bother me so much just because I use icons a lot that I can totally cover that or the florals. And then again, you can use whited out boxes. This is just her style and I think it's so pretty. I would love to um, play around with it and kind of make it work for like my style of planning just because her artwork is just incredibly gorgeous. But this kit is called Brielle. And again, here are the deco pieces. Okay, so this next kit is called Kala. I think that's how you say it. Um, by the way, I love the smell of this paper. Is it just me? Um, oh gosh, this is gonna sound terrible. I'm probably gonna go on a tangent here, but I remember growing up, there's this specific <laughs> what am I doing? Um, like as a kid, you know, when you smelled Sharpies or um, there was a specific glue in the Philippines growing up that actually smelled really good and I liked it. Um, it kind of reminds me of that. But I know it's like treated paper with chemicals. So I know it's not healthy for you. I'm not here sniffing glue and Sharpies all day. But <laughs> um, it's funny because like Greg and I will talk and I'll be like, oh, I, I don't mind the smell of Sharpies. But he like doesn't mind the smell of gasoline and I could not. Like I I don't enjoy the smell of gasoline. Not a huge fan of it, but let me know if I'm not alone below because I feel like a weirdo talking to myself about this. But um yeah. Anyways, so floral deco. Really, really pretty. I'm obsessed with this bicycle. It's incredibly adorable. And then you have some with the girl in the corner and different sizes of like the outfit. Super cute. Um, this is in rose gold foil. Anne's full boxes are literally artwork. I cannot say this enough. I adore her full boxes so, so much. And I think that's kind of why I always go back to um, just like being mesmerized by her kits because her full boxes are just so pretty and so unique. And she's just able to kind of mix certain things that I would never think to pair together. Um, but this is just so, so pretty. Really gorgeous. And I love when she uses this like um, vintage old school print font. It's just really pretty. And then here is this page again. It's not my favorite page, but um, I know that it is functional for some that do enjoy using those items still. And then here you have all of your headers, some boxes. And then here is your bottom washi. Really pretty. And then on this page you have some more boxes. Again, love all of the whited out ones. So this is really beautiful. I love Kala. It's, I think this is probably my favorite of the two. It's just so incredibly stunning. I love the full boxes. Um, but Brielle is incredibly pretty too. But anyways, that is everything from Anne Hart's planning and that is everything um, for this haul. By the way, I do have a code with her. I believe it's Rachel10, but don't quote me. <laughs> Use my description box below to just verify that. Um, thank you so much for watching this haul. I truly appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed it and um, that I was incredibly blabby, but you know, hopefully you like that. Um, please do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time. Bye everybody.